All right, guys, it's Mike Chong. I just want to say thank you for all the subscriptions, all the views, all the comments. I really do appreciate it. Um, I really do try and get back to you all as soon as possible. And for some reason, that's that's really um, shocking to some of you that I, I get back to you guys, um, you know, right away. Uh, some of you I have dropped the ball on. Like, I won't for some reason see the, the alert until, like, literally like a day after. And here I am saying, like, hey, I'm going to get back to you guys you know, right away, but within the day, but, and, and then, like, I'll see someone's question that they asked me, like, a day late, um, sorry about that, I do apologize, um, I will try not to make that happen again, uh, today, I wanted to tie in a request to something that's a little bit more beneficial to everyone who's starting or applying for CCA, RCA positions, uh, this person requested me to go over um, every, the whole process in the morning from, <clears throat> you know, beginning to end of the office portion of the route. Now, what I'm going to tell you, I might leave some things off because I mean, I'm going to try and be as detailed as possible, but I could possibly leave out certain steps. And if I do definitely let me know in the comments, but this is how I personally do it. This is how my office is personally set up. Every single office is going to be different. I promise you that. Every single office is going, some may be newer, some may be older. Um, things are just going to be set up so different because sometimes to get your arrow key, the arrow key and the accountable cards are locked up. You know, some offices that you go to, anyone can go up to the accountable cart and get their arrow key and accountables and everything. Um, so just know that I'm speaking personally in general with my route. Hopefully this can transfer over to wherever you all are at. Um, but anyway, so as soon as I get into the office, I start with the pre-sorted flats and usually those come in bundled. Um, you know, bundled format, they come with a, a, you know, a strap, almost like a zip tie around them, sometimes wrapped in plastic. So I'll break that open and I will put, sort that into my case. After that, normally we have tubs of flats at our cases. So I'll take those out. Usually I will hold in between three to six inches in my hand. Me personally, it just makes me a lot more efficient, a lot quicker, because I'm not working off of the desk. I'm actually holding it in my hand, so where it's kind of closer. So if I'm working at the third shelf, I can actually kind of hold it closer to the third shelf. So it makes me go a lot faster. Um, to each his own. So if that does not work for you, definitely do what suits you and makes you the most efficient. What you're trying to do is you're trying to eliminate all of your as men, you're trying to eliminate all of your time away from your case. You're trying to stay at your case as long as possible doing work until you actually have no choice but to go and actually get everything else. So after I do my tubs that are at my case, I will, I will normally go to the, um, hot case. I'll grab my hot case flats, my hot case letters, I'll take them back to my uh, my case. I will put in the hot case flats and then the hot case letters. After that, I will, we normally have tubs of spurs at our, um, at our cases already. So I'll throw in the, tu uh, the I'm sorry, the, uh, the, the spurs. I'll throw in the spurs. Uh, me personally, I like to put anything that fits. Anything that can fit in a mailbox, I will case in um, to the route. So a lot of people don't, don't like putting huge bulky things in there. I'm one of those guys that anything that fits, I will, I'll stuff it in the case because, um, uh, that's just, I don't like having to look in the back of the truck all the time, you know? So I, I put as much, as many things as I can next to me as possible. Um, after that, I'll usually go to the accountable card. I'll get my arrow key, anything accountable, lock changes, um, you know, registers, anything like that, anything 
you like that, I'll grab, take back to my case, case it up. Anything that I've collected over all of these processes that are not for my route or not for my post office, I'll then take all of that or, you know, vacants or forwards or anything like that. I will then take all of that mail and I'll take it to its corresponding areas that it needs to go. Um, after that, normally I can fit, I can pull, well, I will, after that I'll pull down my route. And if it can fit with my parcels in the gurney, I will pull it down and put it into the gurney with my parcels. Um, if it can't, I'll go make a parcel. I'll go deliver or load all my parcels in my truck. Um, I know I'm kind of all over the place, but if it doesn't fit in my gurney, my pulled down route into my gurney, I'll go load my parcels and I'll come back in. And before I actually go out to load my parcels, because once you touch your parcels, that's a street function. So I'll clock over the street and then I'll come in um, and then I'll put I'll load my route into the gurney. And then on my way to my truck, the final time, I will grab my DPS from the dock and then go load my truck and then I'm off. So um I'm, I don't really have, I'm not really in the office for a long time at all during the day. Um, it's normally very quick. Um, but honestly, it's what you're used to. It's what you get comfortable with because you'll eventually know, um, you know, what you're, what you feel comfortable with. And also you want to build that routine of doing the same thing, um, when you're casing, because I mean, you don't want to come in one day and then, you pull down the whole entire route and then someone says you forgot your spurs. You know, I've seen it happen to new people where, you know, they've thrown up the whole entire route, pulled it all down. And then someone brings over a huge tub of spurs, you know, when that could have been avoided if you would have built, you know, a routine. Like start from day one and build a routine like, hey, I'm going to do this. To, I'm going to start with the pre-sorted flats. Then I'm going to start on the tub of flats then i'm gonna go to the hot case flats then after the hot case flats i'm gonna go to the hot case letters after the hot case letters i'm gonna go to the spurs after the spurs i know i gotta go check the accountable and get my key after i do all of this then i know i can pull i'm safe to pull down my route um so build a routine from day one and get comfortable with doing the same thing every single day, you know, that's, that's kind of weird for me to say, like build a routine to do every single day, but it's true or else you're going to slip up. And especially if you start going to other offices, um, you'll notice that the, they do things different. There's a setup different. So just know that the, it's, it goes kind of the same in every single office. As long as you know, you've gotten all the pre-sort flats, as long as you know, you've gotten all the tubs of the unsorted flats, as long as you know, you've hit the hot case, then you know in every single office that this can, can apply to. So <laughs> other than that, I really hope this um, this answered you all's question. Um, I know I talked to you guys about doing a giveaway, you know, of uh, your choice for like the first and the uh, second place. I don't really, I haven't really worked out the details yet. Like, please, like if anyone has any, um, any, uh, ideas at all leave them in the comments um but uh i if i don't come out with that like tomorrow i'll definitely come out with it on monday so again thank you all for the uh subscriptions all the likes and all the uh comments thank you to jh jh is the man um <laughs> uh, i love watching jh's videos because he makes us so much more funner uh, than my videos. But anyway, love that guy. You all have a good one. And until next time, later.